<laughs> okay, uh. If any of you guys see this, or find it, and you know who I am, find me on Facebook. I got a couple more videos. It's, uh. It's a little. couple of tutorials I'm gonna add later. It's not gonna be on Facebook now. Uh, the tutorials are gonna be on YouTube. Probably. Probably the same time. Around. An hour maybe afterwards. Uh, so. For right now, I'm just gonna show you a, uh. Double Kong, and then a Super Kong. I might go into it a little bit just to, uh, just give you the base. But, this is the obstacle I'm going to be doing the Super Kong and the Double Kong off of. I'm going to go through it, and, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, wish me luck. Cool. Alright, that was a Super Kong. Now, Super Kong, the main point of it is get a very high jump. Make sure your legs, instead of them being like this, instead of your legs being hooked or tucked, as some people call it, you want your legs being out and up. So, I'll show it, I'll do it one more time for uh, just to remedy the object or whatever. Uh, okay. That could have been bad. But, uh, alright, now for the double Kong. My hand's gonna be placed on the object twice. Not one foot apart. You want it to be good. First time, first time your hands touch, you want to be a nice heel or uh, palm to tip, and then the last one you want to go palm to tip as well, but toward the end of the object. In this case, it's a bench, but you might want to do it over like pillars or something. So I'm gonna show you a double Kong. Might not get it on my first try because I'm kind of new with this. So we'll see how it goes. One more just to reiterate. That's the word I've been looking for. Reiterate. Alright. One more. Okay, what well you saw there is my foot touched the object. You might not have saw it, but it did. So I'm going to do it one more time. Don't do what I just did, because that's a terrible way to do it. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Peace out, see you next time.